Hello, today we are going to uh, talk about rhinoceros beetles. You know what rhinoceros beetles are, right? Have I ever uploaded any videos about my rhinoceros beetles? I think I have, but well, just to introduce you, I have uh, five rhinoceros beetles, two males, three females. So uh, two of them are upstairs. I've prepared two females and one male. The, I prepared her twin and, uh, and Cosmos. I've also prepared her tea. Well, not, let's not name that. So, okay, so first, what are rhinoceros beetles? They're a type of beetle that uh, mostly lives in Korea and Japan and sometimes China. Okay, so how do you get the males and females apart? First, the females, uh, but this is about the um, rhinoceros beetle adults. The babies, you just put dirt, and you just change the dirt every one or two, two months. And they grow, and they'll turn into cocoons like this, and when they hatch, that's what we mostly going to talk about, we're also going to talk about in, the, in another video to uh, get your rhinoceros beetles healthy. So, uh, first, how do you know if your rhinoceros beetle is a male or female? Darn, I think you all know it. Okay, so the, uh, oh, he's eating, he's eating. The females don't have these, uh, what should I say, these uh, big horns on their front, so I think they're trying to make the and these are too big. Whoa. Oh. Uh, not eating. Pretty well. So, this one is the oldest one. He, she was born like, I don't remember, like one and a half months ago. I remember, but this is a pretty small guy. Rhinoceros beetles are typically very big, but this is as just a little bigger than my thumb. The males, the the males, have these uh the gigantic horns. The uh, normal size for these horns are two to three centimeters. If they're healthy, they'll get all the way up to four centimeters. But the typical size for these horns are oh wait a minute, I need to take this another spin off. They should look like this if they're healthy. And they have a uh, lifting horn here. They have a uh, lifting horn here, and this is their uh, moving horn. Which oh, and if any of you think how could this do any damage, stab you or, or actually, but this can, this can actually do damage if she squeezes. Ooh, that hurt pretty much. That's a weak uh, warning defense. They do it like, okay, so, just going to show you an example. They do it like this, and it really hurts if they do it like But this the guy is like a week old, so probably no. And uh, how, how do you feed these? Oh, and the females don't have horns. Also, they have more spikes than the males, but they hurt equally. The females uh, also have fur on their body, but males, as you can see, don't have. Wait, wait, wait get, get that whole thing off. Don't have much fur on their uh, bellies, but the uh, females. This one is not a good example. I actually cut all of her fur. Can you see this uh, goldish thing at the bottom of her? abdomen is the fur. If the male's horn is broken, I mean both of the horns. If the if even if this strong little mighty horn is broken, you can use the abdomen to figure out. Also males are typically kind of bigger. I mean even the body size, the male with the male kind of looks like this typically and the female typically looks like this. The female usually has no injuries, but the males fight and they do have injuries. Even this newborn one 
has some injuries from here, here, and here. So those are the typical males. And what do you feed them? You feed them insect jelly. I guess all of you have insect jelly at your homes, right? You also feed them uh, apples and bananas. Those are the three main things. Apples, bananas, and insect jelly. Sometimes the uh, some some people sometimes feed them plants, but they don't really typically eat plants. They eat some types of beetles. But when they're hungry, they do eat nectar, but they don't eat plant stems and stuff. This guy looks pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Not the uh, worst looking tree genres. Also, the insect insect jelly smells pretty good. Do not like hate this insect jelly. It actually smells pretty good. Kind of like butter. If you insist the smell. And the taste, let me taste it. Hmm, sweet. Hmm, this is actually kind of dangerous to eat, but it's just a video, so I won't eat it in big amounts. I'll just do this and suck my thumb. Tastes not bad. You could eat insect jelly at home. It kind of tastes like Swedish. Sweet. Kind of like sweet, but not the best food in the world. Do you like it? Like it? But males are the faster eaters. Also, the, uh, what should I say next? The uh, temperature you need to get them is in, they usually live in the summer so you should get them to about 25 or 24 to 28 that's the appropriate temperature most of the gliders do it to 26 which is the perfect temperature okay so anyways most of 26 is the perfect temperature also how strong they are he got another Scratch you. Sorry, bro. But that's probably what you did in the wild. I didn't catch the, this in the wild. So, uh, the uh, things you have to be warned about is that they sometimes do this. I want to show you. Ooh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. They sometimes uh, lift this part up and squeeze your finger. So let's just see how strong they are. I have to make this guy a little annoyed. The scissor. Also, uh, this is very strong. Let me just drop a uh, ruler on it. This is a sharp metal ruler. They can cut through scissors in an instant. Well, not scissors, but cut through paper. It's roughly, if you do it like this, there's paper here, it can roughly cut anything. Paper, or maybe a thin layer of wood. So, let's just see how strong this rhinoceros fuel shell is. Oh, that was kind of hurting, but no damage to the shell. Right, Bean? No, not that. No, no damage to the shell at all. No, no. Oh, but he did pee. This is not bleeding. Do not be warned. This is not bleeding. The if if there is something like kind of what should I say? Some, something kind of uh, not yellow, but kind of green plus. Uh, if there is something invi kind of invisible ish and green, it's blood. But if you just do something like. This, 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 and they, like, squirt something out of their abdomen that's peeing. They actually pee for defense. Did you know also these guys can fly, so be warned about that. 
But the most important things are parasites. Um, well, my beetle doesn't have parasites. Can you see? Also, can you, did you just see my fingers? They're pressing really hard like this. So, but he still doesn't get out. Also, you need to be aware of these legs. They're super tough. You can smell something from your abdomen. You're gonna pee, right? So I'm gonna aim it in this direction, and you can squirt pee on me. No problem, oh bro. You can uh, get all your pee in one pot, okay? So, he's peeing, he's peeing, he's peeing. Also, the males usually have these typically red legs. And the last thing about these guys is that they can have ticks. Ticks, mites, all sorts of things. You might even get ants in here. There is low chance you'll get ants. And if they try if they get ants, you'll notice, but like that. Ooh yeah, it hurts, that hurts, that hurts. So typically. Also their uh under part is also surprisingly tough. They can also move these steel plates. Wanna see? Okay, this is the last test. The strength test. Ooh. But this is actually made of titanium, you know? And titanium is one of the heavy metals. So surprisingly. Surprising if he does lift this. Oh, he's lifting it. Oh, he's lifting it. Oh, he lifted it, but he kind of like slipped it off. So one more, uh, one more of this. They actually tried to lift this, you know? You know, if you put something heavy enough on their horns, try to lift this, but the surface is kind of slippery, so... You don't want to lift it that much. So, uh, do you want something that's heavy but un un not slippery? Okay, maybe this, uh, this is relatively the same. <gasps> Wait, but it's easier to lift. Because of the, uh, it's not slippery, bro. Ooh, he's lifting it. Can you see? Oh, but this eraser also has some uh, difficulty in it because it's kind of uh, kind of heavy. Also, this surface is not the uh, most suitable surface ever. But he did move the eraser quite a lot. I mean, this is like a car compared to a human. But he just budged the car. Well. A car without wheels. So, see you in the next ep episode where we will test the strengths. Also, the uh, also the uh, most cases these guys die is num the third most cases that they die is that you leave the um, the two males together, and but they don't usually fight each other that much, but. More, if they're like two months old, they start to fight. Also, uh, if you, you don't spray that much water, or you just don't put any of these play playing things, and they'll get upside down. Also, if you don't, even if you don't have playing things, and if you don't have these, this they will. Well, let me demonstrate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let me demonstrate. This is where there is plain thingies. Even if there is no wood, you can do this, and eventually you can get like this and get right side up. It's better if you have these plain thingies, but you can kind of like swim his right way through. You can see that. Wait a minute, he got. Oh, uh, without my help, I just got one of those. Rocks out of the way. So, yeah, but 
If he's upside down and he has no dirt or plain dingies, let me see if we can do it right side up. I will edit this video, so. Okay, ho, 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 it's three hours later. He's still trying, but... Mm, no, 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 he can't get right side up. And usually, after more than a day, he dies. So, this is also dangerous. Do that, the most cases are these, uh, the... The stress. If you stress them too much, they, you touch them too much. I only touch them, like, once a day. That's fairly enough, fairly. Touch them during the day, that's fairly enough. So, yeah. That's all you need to know. So, see you in the next video. Where we will test the strength of these guys. Ah! That hurts, that hurts!